Vellus hip navigation for a patient with severe arthritis with significant leg length inequality. The case starts with first looking at the AP pelvis to assess for leg length inequality. You can see from the x-ray that the patient's right leg is significantly shortened radiographically. In addition, this case demonstrates pathologic offset of the patient's femoral head relative to the acetabulum. The patient's femoral head is lateral and superior to its native position. For this patient, I had him stand on leg length discrepancy blocks to get a better assessment of his clinical leg length discrepancy. With these blocks, the patient felt he was close to eight to nine millimeters short on his right hip. For this patient, I chose the template on the AP pelvis radiograph. For his acetabular deformity, each surgeon may choose a different templated position for this cup. Some would choose to ream less bone with a cup more lateralized and have more offset options for their stem, and others would choose to place the cup in a more traditional position by medializing the center of rotation and using a larger cup. For this patient, I opted to template their contralateral side. The placement of the cup in all cases creates significant changes in offset and leg length that a surgeon will have to accommodate on the femoral side to make it right. The beauty of using Vellus is that no matter where the cup is positioned, the software will give you data to make an informed data-driven decision. I do not use a calibration ball on my x-rays, so for a male patient, I will estimate their femoral head size as 51 millimeters in diameter. I can recalibrate my templating in the operating room after measuring their actual head for better accuracy. Using the Vellus templating function for this patient, I've selected a 56 millimeter cup, a size 11 high offset stem, and a plus 8.5 head. I want to lengthen this patient's leg eight to nine millimeters. Before making the neck cut, you need to obtain an image of the proximal femur with a greater trochanter and a pubic symphysis in the image. This image is referenced later for the one trial analysis. I use the templated image in surgery to verify the level of my neck cut marked with a bovie tip. Cut the neck and measure the head. The sales consultant then marks out the relevant points on the AP image while surgery continues to be referenced later. Ream the acetabulum and select the cup size. Placement of the cup is done by first obtaining a neutral pelvic image. The cup is impacted in place using concise. Vellus is then used to tell you your current cup position. Here the cup is in my preference safe zone with the goal for this patient being near 43 degrees of inclination and 23 degrees of antiversion. A plus four neutral liner is placed. The femur is then exposed and broached. A trial brooch with neck and head are placed for trial. With this patient, I opted to trial with a size nine standard offset stem and a plus five head. Once the trial is in place, you then obtain another AP hip image. This is then used by the sales consultant to register the reference points. You then run the Vela software and a one trial chart is generated. This chart demonstrates the modularity options of the selected hip implants and their effects on leg length and offset. The beauty of the one trial chart is that it generates data for a surgeon to make a final implant decision. It shows that there are many good options for the surgeon that allow restoration of appropriate leg length and at the same time achieving stability. In this case, my priority was to restore the leg length as clinically he was short eight to nine millimeters. Looking at this one trial chart, I like the standard stem with a plus five head option. This will give the patient approximately seven to eight millimeters of length with the final stem. It is my preference with the direct anterior approach to avoid adding significant length and offset as these patients tend to feel tight post-operatively. Therefore, with a plus five head, I would personally not choose the high offset stem. Alternatively, the high offset stem with a plus 1.5 head is more typical of the numbers I would choose for a patient's leg length and offset as this would result in plus length, plus femoral offset, and a neutral total offset. Clearly, looking at this chart, there are several good choices that a surgeon can choose from depending upon the goals of surgery. Alternatively, there are several less desirable choices that could result in leg length and instability issues. The data provided here gives the surgeon the confidence of their decision on the patient's outcome at the time of surgery. I then select and implant the standard offset size nine stem with a plus five head. This would then end surgery as our goals have been achieved. 
However, you can run the software again with the final implants to verify your numbers. With this, we see that the final numbers are plus eight millimeters of length, minus four millimeters of thermal offset, and minus five millimeters of total offset. This demonstrates the ease of use of the one trial analysis with VELS tip navigation to go from trial to final implants with an accurate data-driven decision.